support Penryn CPUs? Uh, not yet, but we are going to have another board very soon for the 45 nanometer CPU support. Okay. okay. And uh, uh, the most important board we launched this year is Weight A055, which is built by uh, Intel 945G chipset. And so it's a low cost or low cost. cost effective yeah, cost version? Yeah, cost effective solution. Because we think uh, we can satisfy the computing power and uh, the cost in the same time. Okay, that's the reason we choose this chipset. And uh, the important feature of this board is we are using sorting type RAM in a limit space, and you can enjoy up to four gigabit okay memory in uh, in the limit space. Okay. It's very interesting. Does it work so did here together with uh, desktop CPU and desktop chipset? Yes, yes. So it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Yes. And what kind of DDR2 do you have? So DDR2 800 or uh, 667? Around uh, 800. Okay. 800. So you have full speed DDR2. Yes, full speed DDR2. It's, it's a very good feature since uh, if we look the space there is not much space used by the two models, but and uh, I think the price is quite the same probably. Yeah, quite the same right now. So that's the reason we choose this memory in this limit space. Very good idea, very good idea. Yes, thank you. Okay, and uh, the most important feature is uh, this board can adopt like a fanless solution with Conroe Light processor. Okay, and as you can see, we have a proprietary PC here and it includes the North Bridge, South Bridge, and the CPU in the same time because we would like to increase the surface for release the heat. It's very impressive. It's the first Mini ITX port I see that has a desktop CPU and is completely fanless. Yeah, fanless. How did you make it? Uh, actually, we, we increased the surface okay, for, uh, in, in order to release the heat. So we combine the North Bridge, South Bridge, and the CPU. Oh wow, yeah. that, that's very good. Yeah. Normally, if we go, if we look some fanless coolers, they normally have cooler for the CPU, one yeah. for the chipset, one for yeah, the South so Bridge, and having all together yeah, we has a much more bigger surface and spread out the heat over yeah. all the surface. Yeah. Very, very good idea. What kind of yeah. CPU can be fanless cooled? Okay, right now we are choosing is Conron Light CPU, which the power, power consumption is 35 watts. Celeron, you mean? Yeah, Celeron. Celeron. Okay. Yeah, Conron, uh, it's a Celeron 440, yeah? actually. Yes, and the computing uh, clock rate can up to two gigabit okay, per second. Okay, so we think it should be a cost-effective board with uh, enough computing power. Okay, in a fanless solution. Yeah, so it should be a very good solution. Yeah, 
Sounds very good. Can also a normal court to do or be fanless cold? What do you think? Uh, we are trying, but uh, because the power consumption is around 65 watts. Mm -hmm. And as you know, we have a small cooler, like an easy cool. Yeah, launched in last year. And it's a one unit. Um, one U? Yeah, yeah, one U cooler. But maybe it would be also interesting to use this cool, uh, this cooler together with a very low uh, fan that just okay. that yes. keeps a little bit yes. air movement yes. that would be also cool for higher CPU. I think I think this idea and this concept is very interesting and it could be uh, revolutionary for the mini ITX market. Yes, I think so. Yes, and actually we have another battery cooler which has a cooler inside. Yes. Okay. So you, you can it means you can use a photo dual processor also in this. Place. Can we? Do you have a cooler here to see? Uh, no, not in. in okay. The, yeah, not in the booth, but you can check it in our website. Okay, thank you. Uh, so from this one to this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, actually, Power launched a new board, uh, like a Grade A zero four four this year. And uh, the most important feature of this board is because we are adapt like a 910 chipset. And uh, as you know, A55 chipset has been in the market for a long time. Okay, and right now Intel is trying to migrate to 910 chipset. And uh, the most important feature is that this, this board can support the SATA function. As you know, SATA devices is uh, in the market, is popular in the market. And the second feature of this board is uh, DVI support on board. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can enjoy the dual display in yeah. uh, this CPU. Okay. This both main boards have a CPU already inside. Yes, it's integrated CPU inside and as a fanless solution. Okay, so you can have a CF card here and also two gigabit LAN. Okay, and uh, uh, DVI on board. Okay, so it's a very powerful solution. And uh, moreover. Uh, as you know, uh, Howell is an uh, early access account okay, of Intel so with very good relationship. Okay, so we always have a leading uh, chipset from Intel. And uh, we are going to have a uh, Wave 8067, which is built in by the Montamina platform. So it's already with Montamina? Yeah, already with Montamina. And For the new CPUs? For the 45 nanometer CPU. Yeah. More bandwidth, more uh, computing power yeah. in uh, a Pentium M solution. So which chipset is on board? Uh, I'm not. I can nice. Yeah, okay, I, I understand. Yeah, but uh, you can check the website to check the Montamina platform. Yeah, okay. okay. We have already have it. Okay. And uh, the most important feature of this board is support the uh, HDMI function. Okay. So, and uh, also the DVI and the VGA in the same time. So, as you quite know, that uh, most of the uh, digital signage application Okay, like require like a four HD function, like a one zero eight zero P solution resolution. Okay, so Bontavina platform will be a very good solution for that. And uh, we also have a PCI Express by four slot here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can have an expansion here. Okay. I have seen that he has written DDR three SC RAM. Yes. And uh, as you can, as you know, DDR3 in the market for maybe quite well for for, a for some time. Okay, but so we are going to have this first ball for DDR3. Okay, connected. So you can have two slots here for two DDR3 slots. Okay. Okay. So it's a very performant mobile-based mini ITX mainboard. Yes. And uh, as you know, the bandwidth of the DDR3. Uh, memory is higher than DDR2, so you can enjoy more bandwidth up to maybe 1,300. Okay. okay. In the future. Okay. So thank you much. Uh, it's all of the uh, Mediatek solution. Okay. So uh, if you need any inquiry, you can check the website from Cobra. Okay.